Thunder star Kevin Durant recovering from a fracture in his foot as his team takes the court tonight. We first told you about this on Sunday. Come to find out, a Jones fracture is not all that uncommon. KOCO's Ariana Garza talks with an expert about the injury and what's next for KD. A Jones fracture can often be mistaken for a bad sprain. Dr. Michael Wilson says that's because they can happen when a tendon in your foot gets pulled so hard the bone actually breaks. Here's an example. So this is the outside of your foot. And a Jones fracture is one to two centimeters, which is about an inch from the, this joint here. And you can see it runs right through the, uh, the bone in this particular area. After practice Saturday, Kevin Durant told the team his right foot was hurting. Because it's a stress injury, um, it's something that happens over time. And therefore, I think that the fact that you know Kevin mentioned it when he did uh, is a real fortunate piece to this. Dr. Wilson says many athletes have a high pain tolerance and don't let anyone know when they need help. But since Durant spoke up, he has a good chance at recovering quickly. Kevin Durant's lucky in that he's young, he doesn't smoke, he's in good shape, so his blood flow is very, very good. Uh, somebody that smokes or an elderly patient, it could, it could be a very, very long time, if ever, that it, that it you know, will actually heal. The estimated recovery time is six to eight weeks. The Jones fracture is right where that nutrient artery is. So when it fractures, it ruptures that artery. And that's why it can be such a, a very long recovery process. And once the bone heals, physical therapy can help Durant avoid breaking it again. Ariana Garza, KOCO 5 News. Hopefully he'll be back on the court yes. soon. We wish him the best, of course.